Oh, it's such a shame we can't be together. With book week fast approaching, I thought I might read you a story. A story that'll get you in the mood because we're looking forward to seeing everybody who can or who would like to dress up next Wednesday for our Zoom meetings and we can see your wonderful costumes. So let's start with this great story to get us in the mood. Get Back In Your Books by Rory H. Marr and illustrated by Shane Magee. Get Back Into Your Books. When I arrived at school today, everything seemed right. But when I reached the library, I nearly jumped in fright. I slid up to the front desk. I always say hello. But instead of the librarian, there was a buffalo. I walked towards the shelves. Actually, I ran quite fast. So I thought I must be dreaming when I saw a fox strut past. My jaw dropped in the picture books when something caught my eye. First a greedy caterpillar, then three pigs went by. Do you believe in magic? Like wands and spells and stuff? It's the only way to explain those wizards who went puff. There were pirates in the paperbacks, a bear in fantasy. Then I saw a smiling cat staring straight at me. That was when I realised just what was out of whack. So I grabbed a megaphone and stared out at the pack. I cleared my throat <clears throat> and waited. I got a lot of looks. Then I yelled out, listen here, get back in your books. Masks came off and suddenly I thought of the parade. There were all, they were all dressed for book week in outfits they had made. Luckily, my classmates saved me from my gloom. by loaning me some bits and bobs to make a late costume. And that's all you need, boys and girls, is some bits and pieces from home to make a wonderful costume for our virtual book parade next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye.